watching this video today and get ready to paint a boat. This is a shipwreck that I've seen on Point Reyes in the Northern California trip and I hope you guys are gonna enjoy practicing all the techniques on it. First, we need some clean water and watercolor paints. Not any paints, professional paints. I'm choosing Horodam Schminke for this painting in tubes just because I like to squeeze them and get my brush pretty clean not have a messy pen. I chose a notebook which is mixed media paper and two brushes. Oh, I'm gonna use one more for details at the end. So, I made a short sketch just a rough, rough sketch. And I'm gonna pause the video so you can go ahead and sketch. Take as long as you want to get it right. And this is my sketch. Pretty basic. Just a few lines here and there. They don't have to be precise. It's just a guide. Uh, but try to have the overall shape a good proportion. I'm gonna wet the upper part of my painting where the sky is gonna be and I'm gonna use cerulean blue starting from the horizon line going up with the dabbing motions and ultramarine blue for the upper part of the painting and that is because I want to have a darker part on the left side in the corner that's where the gradient is gonna be the darkest Continue doing the dabbing and then as you move closer to the horizon line use a little bit more of the cerulean blue. I have a rag here and I'm dabbing a little bit so I can have this sky's illusion. Now for the bottom part I put water on my paper and now I'm spreading a mix of yellow ochre, burnt sienna and sepia brown trying to replicate as much as possible the reference photo that I have but you don't have to be exact this is a painting so you can have your own mark choose whatever colors work best for you we have to keep in mind that the light comes from the left so the right side of the boat it's gonna be darker and the shadow is gonna cast on the ground also on the right side here I'm putting the light layer of ultramarine blue combined with a little bit of burnt sienna so it's like a neutral color with the very value and then we're going to move on to use a little bit more of burnt sienna. This is going to create the illusion of rust that lays on the surface of the metal and here again, I'm using um, eight round brush. This is a natural hair and I'm dabbing in some areas with darker values and lighter value for the gradient in the background. Now I'm darkening a little bit more the right side of the boat because I just realize my value is not very accurate and this happens a lot if you're a beginner you will have to adjust the value and go darker a couple times and that's fine that's how you start and it's always better to add more layers than to go too dark and then have it too dark because watercolor can only go lighter it's a transparent medium so whatever you do it's gonna be visible in the layers above keep that in mind this is the beauty of the medium that we've chosen I am going with darker values now and it's the same it's a combination of burnt sienna and um, ultramarine blue you can also use an ivory black if you have that in your palette or you can use a sepia brown with something a little bit more dark and um, cold like a yellow ochre I'm darkening more on the right side of the boat 
and this will also give it more depth. You can see that I'm varying the shades. I'm using a little bit more yellow ochre and a little bit more burnt sienna. This is gonna make it more warm, like the light of the sun would hit the metal more on that side. And a little bit of dark accents at the top, at the edges, and also I'm focusing on bringing the attention on the front of the boat and have it pop in between those dark values around it, which are going to be a cast shadow on the ground. It's always good to keep in mind the fact that the eye moves in your painting and it looks it reads it like a story and even if you make up a little bit of a mistake putting the wrong color combination in there if you get the right value you can still save your painting and what I'm trying to do here even if it, it got a little bit muddy in the right side you can see that I over layered it I overdid it a little bit it still looks good because I got the values right now I'm darkening the sky even more with one more layer of um, ultramarine blue. I feel like it needs a little bit more contrast so then the ship would pop out more. A final touches would be a little bit of splattering with uh, dabbing with my finest brush. I'm using a zero zero, very fine brush and I'm gonna put some details with this brush. I think we need a little bit more hardware and for that I'm gonna put some rivets there. Just a couple of them, not too many. And darken some areas that I'm gonna bring into um, to a focal point. I hope you guys enjoyed making this painting with me today and I'm very curious about how your painting turned out and I would love to give you guys a critique. You can email me on the following email address. If you have any comments for me, I would love to read those. Please text below and I will try to accommodate that on my next video. Thank you so much. Happy painting!